an old woman, a plucking young nettles. She ne'er had me coming. I listened a while to the song she was humming. Glory, oh, glory, oh, to the bold Fenian men. Well, I liked the Fenian men bit, but I didn't understand the bit about the nettles. But now I do. A plucking young nettles. She there, and so you can see what happens. Yeah. It gets away. But we keep the paths clear. These walls are very infirm, and we have now a trust. I donated it to a charitable trust with Clan, Clan McDougall, and the trust is we have got people working and fundraising and one thing or another at the moment, and the, the, I can get enough out of singing in the. Because I thought he was the family were Freemasons. So that was my first inquiry was through the the Freemason outfit. But um, they came up and said, no, he's not a Freemason, there's no such number. And it turns out that G stands for God. And the whole family, Mason, it was on the stone, I just didn't look to him. Mason, Mason, the whole family were stonemasons, and he was a stonemason. And he emigrated from number eight Argyle Square Oban to Canada. And my wife found the very house that he lived in in Canada with the other stonemasons, and it says they were working on public buildings, a government building or something in Ottawa. She then f also found the ship that he went to Australia and uh, Canada in. So that's the Canadian connection.